Hey guys, it's May May, and today I'm finally using my Stampin' Up! Owl Punch. It has been a while. If you follow me on social media, you'll know that I bought it back in like March or April and have yet to use it, but this is a great project for it. We're going to make this little turkey. I'm going to show you how to make this little treat bag so you'll have some goodies to give away for the season. So let's get started. Now, I love punch art and I collect punches, so I have a bunch of them. And today we're going to start using a two inch circle punch. Um, actually, a two inch scallop circle punch. That does matter because the scallops are what really give his feathers a really cute look. And I have picked three pieces of paper that are double sided. It does need to be double sided because the way we're going to do our feathers. So pick something that you like in some fall colors for his feathers and punch out three scallop circles. Super easy right there so far, right? Now, I saw these on Pinterest, by the way, these little owls made like this. I saw them on Pinterest and lots of people have done them and they were done in different ways. So I didn't love all that I had seen. I decided to do a little adjusting of my own. All right. So three two inch scallop circles and double sided paper. Now we're going to do some folding and I found that doing one score mark on each one of these really helps. Okay. So here's what you're going to do. Notice how I have this black line down the middle of my scoreboard. I do that so I can see one solid score mark. Now, you could do this with your paper trimmer too, as long as you have a place to do a little indention. I'm going to take one scallop and put it into that mark, which is actually where my four bar mark is here. And then I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And that scallop indention right past six, I want to line it up on that bar as well, or on that score line as well. That's why I do that draw. So I know I'm working with the same score line here that I'm working with it there. Then just score it. So you're basically just scoring in six scallops. Let's do it one more time. All these S words. Okay, here we go. Go into my mark where I know where I'm at. I'm going to count six scallops. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this indention needs to line up on the same um, indention as the top, the same bar. Okay, and then score. I should say the same score mark. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all three of these guys. This is the only scoring you need to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the rest of it goes real super easy. Now, if you're going to make a bunch of these, this is assembly line work. Go in and do all your punching, then do all your scoring, then do all your folding, etc. All right, so now that I've got those done, I'm going to fold them up. It really doesn't matter which side you do it on. Let me show you this because it might matter to you, but... On this one, I folded toward the solid lines, so it gave me pattern on the inside. On this one, I'll do it opposite so you can see it both ways. So in my original, I started with the solid side facing up and folded up, okay? But since we're going to do this one a little bit different, I'll start with the pattern facing up and fold and score this guy like this. We're going to do that with all of them, so I'm going to do pattern facing up. These are your turkeys. Do them any old way you want. It does not matter. You probably could mix them up where some are pattern facing up, some are pattern facing down. Now that you've got them like this, you're going to look to your center scallop, okay? And you're just going to fold these in half. This is easy. You're just lining up those scallops and folding them in half. So I'm going to do all three of these. This is super fast, and the kids can do this. They would have a ball doing this. If you've got some paper crafters, um, this is too easy. Too easy not to let them get involved because it seems much more detailed, but it's not. Now that you got them folded in half, we're just going to open them back up like so. And now we're going to do one last fold. And this is what gives us that really feathery look. Okay. So with your solid side facing you, put your finger in this fold mark here. Take two scallops and fold up at that two scallop mark. Let me do one and then I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just folding two scallops up. And I'm only going to crease it at the bottom. I want some movement at the top or some lift, so I'm only creasing at the bottom. Now we're going to do it again. At two scallops up, we're going to make a fold. I'm sure this is fiddly for you to see on the camera. And I'm going to try, though. I'm going to hope you can see it. Now that one didn't line up perfectly, and I'm kind of weird like that, so I'm going to not worry about it. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm not going to stress about it. All right, so this is what we end up with. Very, very hard to follow, right? Let's do it one more time. So solid side facing up after you fold it in in half, you put your finger at the fold just to guide these scallops into their fold. Fold those over to the middle line, crease the bottom, and then we'll do the same thing here. So two scallops get folded, two there, 
and crease the bottom. All right, I think that made more sense. One more time, solid, fold two scallops up. This really goes fast. Once you start doing it and you get used to how this fold works and you remind yourself that it doesn't have to be perfect because it doesn't, it's a turkey tail feather. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then just crease those bottoms. Okay, so three turkey tail feathers. Now let's do some more punching. So this is the owl punch from Stampin' Up. And I did find out that they still make this. Um, I talked to a Stampin' Up rep last night and they do. As a matter of fact, um, she's on my design team and I will link her um, Stampin' Up link below. So if you guys wanna go pick one up from her, I know she will appreciate that. But there is the part we're gonna use. Okay, we're also going to use, I want you to see this, there are four round circles that punch out. We're going to use two of the small ones. We're going to use both of the small ones, actually. So, you see these little ones right here? Now, the rest of the stuff, I'm not going to use. This is super hard to see on my black surface, but there's those two brown dots, and here's my owl, okay? I'm going to get rid of the ears. We, are, we don't need those for the turkey. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start at the flattest portion on the side of the little owl and just kind of curve cut that away. Let me lay it down so you can see. So just kind of curve it, just kind of make it like an oval shaped body. Do the same thing with the other side. Just curve that away until it drops off. And I'll bring this so you can see it. Now see how I got a little point right there? You can clean that up too if you so need to. Don't stress about this. It's paper. It's no big deal, right? Oop, don't lose your eyes. Okay, so there's our turkey body and our eyes. Let's put those aside for a second because we're going to keep doing some more punching. I love punches and I got to pull out so many. So this is a little recollections punch I picked up at Michael's in their dollar bin. And it's a circle and I think it's about three eighths of an inch circle. It's not extremely big. I'm going to punch two of these to be the actual whites of the turkey's eye. So we've got those. And one last thing, I punched another scallop for us to assemble the turkey on. And it can be any color you wanna use. I just grabbed this cause it was close. And we're ready to assemble this guy. This is the fun part. All right, let's bring all our pieces over. Now what I like to do is choose which one of these feathers I want to be the center top. And I want it to be this orange one. So then I just take my art glitter glue. This to me works really fast and easy. So take some art glitter glue, and then starting at the top of this scallop, I just kind of line those up with that scallop circle, and it'll help me stay kind of lined up by using that scallop underneath. Kind of gives me a guideline of where to put things. So there's that. Here's a tip if you're an art glitter glue user. If you want a little more time to kind of wiggle things around, Use more of the art glitter glue. The less glue you use, the faster it dries. Now for these two pieces, you're probably not gonna be lining it up with that um, scallop circle anymore. Just the folding and stuff kind of changes the shape. So I just lay it right next to the first one that we did. Now here, we'll do the same thing. Glue down our last little tail feather. Just line it up with that last one. Don't worry about that scallop underneath if it matches or not. It's really just to hold your turkey together. All right, so I'm gonna sit this down so you can see what I've done. See that? So we have our tail feathers going. Now for this section, I'm gonna use foam squares and I'm gonna double lay them down. Like I'm gonna put two foam squares here in this little section of my scallop circle underneath. See how handy that little guy is? It makes it super easy to put this guy together. I need to peel that backer off first. Almost messed up, there we go. And stick this guy on top of that one. Remove that backer piece and now we can put our turkey body on. And you just decide how high up you want him in your feathers. Just kind of play with that. The two pieces of foam really helps to lift him up like that. Super cute. Okay, let's put some eyes on him. He, this is an easy, quick project, especially if you are doing an assembly line. Like if you're making a bunch of these guys, you can get this done in no time. All right, so I'm going to start with my white um, pieces of the eye. I'm going to stick those down just like so. He's gonna be very funny. I think he's cute. Then I'm gonna put another dot on the inside of art glitter glue, and then take the brown parts and stick on there. Don't you love punch art? Oh my goodness, it's my favorite. It's just so fun to dig your punches out and use them in a different way. Now then, oh, I got another way to show you a punch. Okay, I'm super excited to show you this one. So this 
is the new We Are Memory Keepers angle punch. So many of you guys fell in love with my other angle punch. You remember this guy with the pink handle and everybody asked about it? It had this angle on this end. Well, they've come out with this guy. It is not exactly the same angle, but it does give you two angle punches, a half inch and a um, quarter of an inch. And I discovered something. If I take a piece of that orange paper this is the same paper we used to cut that scallop. If I go to the large side of this little angle punch, and then I just shake that guy out, I had something else in there too, but I'm not gonna worry about that one. Here's the orange one. It's a perfect beak, okay? So using this punch gets you a beak. However, I wanna show you another trick. If you don't have that punch, just do this. There's another way to get a beak, right? But if you're like me and you love to just have punches in your hand and use them, do it that way, it's super fun. All right, another dot of glue here. Pick up our beak. I'm going to turn it over and make it the solid side. Stick that right there. Look how cute. And that's it for your turkey, except you know I can never stop there, right? I'm bringing out my white pen, and I want to stitch him just for cute. See, I can't stand it. Anytime I'm doing something like this, I feel like it needs stitch marks on this dark brown. And then I also kind of gave him little white toes. I just thought that'd be cute to accentuate his little feet down there. That's him. That's the turkey. Now let's assemble our goodie bag. So this is the little treat bag I'm using. This treat bag is about three by four, I think. Yep, three by four. And I get these on Amazon. I'll try to find a link for this and put it below. Also, I'll put links to the other supplies below too. You guys have been asking me to do that and I'm going to do my darndest to start doing that for you guys. So I cut a piece of cardstock that is the width of this guy by four inches. And the reason is I want this to fold in half at the two inch mark. So I'm just gonna score this at two inches, fold that in half, and then I'm gonna crease it. And no, I couldn't leave well enough alone. I have another punch, I'm just loving it. So I'm gonna center this guy, just eyeball center this piece folded into my punch so I can get a little scalloped edge where it touches the bag. I love punches, y'all. You know this about me. I can never leave a punch behind. <laughs> if I'm in the store and there's one, I have to get it. All right, so get this little mess out of the way. And you see now we have those little scalloped edges. Let's add some candy. In the first one that I used, um, I did a coffee-flavored um, Werther's candy. And this one, I just think Werther's is the candy of fall. That's just me. I think they are perfect for the fall time. And what a cool thing to give. Most people like caramel candy, you know? just works for fall. So I have the candies in there. You can fill that up as tight as you want. This would be super cute with candy corn, which I haven't bought yet, but I certainly intend to. All right, so here is our little topper folded. We're just gonna sandwich our little treat bag right inside there, just like this, and then just use your stapler. I put one staple over here. The turkey's gonna cover it and your tag's gonna cover it, so don't stress about those showing. So there's that. Now then, our turkey will adhere, but I wanna make the tag. So for this tag, I'm gonna use some Habanero VersaFine ink, and I'm using the stamp set from my line called Define Emotions, and this is the stamp called Thankful, or it's the one that says Thankful. I'm gonna stamp that onto this cream-colored cardstock, just like this. Let that ink transfer. It doesn't hurt to let it sit there. Look how pretty that Habanero ink is. I just love it. All right, and now then, I'm gonna punch this again. <laughs> I just can't stop. I'm punching everything. Using that corner, the new corner punch, I'm going to use the large side and make a little tag. Look how quick that was, right? Okay, let's bring this guy over and put him together. So we have our turkey, and all I did was art glitter glue on the back, just like that. Find his little spot to live, and he hides my staple. Hold him there for a second to dry. Now that he's down, I'm gonna stick my little thankful tag right underneath him like this. And you can go as far under as you want. I just wanna make sure that my sentiment shows. Now, aren't these cute to have maybe at your home in case you have people visiting for the season or stick them in your handbag if you wanna just hand these out to people that you're thankful for. They are so cute. And these are not huge. That's one thing I like about them. They're a good size. You can put these in your handbag if you wanna carry them somewhere. Um, I actually got the inspiration to use the thankful sentiment from one of you guys over on my Facebook group. She made um, giveaways for people, for nurses at the hospital that were caring for her husband and used the thankful sentiment and did goodie bags. What a great idea. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy our cute, oh, I forgot one thing on him and I think it is so important. Let me fix it. It's his eyes need a little highlight. 
So let's give him just a little bit of highlight on his eyes right there. That just really wake, wakes his face up. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I think this was super fun and easy, and I cannot wait to see your recreations. So if you make any treat bags like this or any project, we want to see it over on our Facebook group, which is called May May Made It and So Did I. Head over and join that group and share with us what you're making. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Tell me what you think about our turkey guy. I think he's adorable. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.